Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the small particles that combine to form our entire organism and how they organize themselves into a working unit. So that's going to come under the levels of structural organization of the human body. Now atoms are the smallest particles that make up any organism. So everything is made of them and they group together to form molecules. Now in the human body we have many different elements such as carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, calcium, oxygen, phosphorus, and they'll all combine together in different ways to perform different functions. So we've got the atoms here combining to uh, form a molecule. Now the molecules in our body can group together to form fats, sugars, amino acids, proteins, and many other things. Now in this way the body can assemble the structures that it's going to need to survive. So as we all know, the body is made up of cells, but even the cells are filled with other smaller structures that perform specific functions. These are going to be called organelles. Now here I've drawn an organelle called the mitochondria, and the mitochondria will be involved in intracellular respiration, and it's key in keeping the cell alive. So moving on from this, we have a complete cell. Now cells can be involved in many different things, so communication, uh, protection, movement, structural integrity, but here I've just drawn a ciliated columnar epithelial cell, and it's going to be involved in protection. So as you can see in the illustration, the cell is comprised of many organelles, all performing their own tasks. So I've got a couple of mitochondria in there, uh, they're going to be doing respiration, got a nucleus as well. Now the nucleus isn't an organelle but it will house the, uh, ma uh, the genetic material of that cell. So it contains many organelles. Now when many cells are grouped together it's known as a tissue. A tissue such as bone, muscles, uh, adipose or fat tissue, nervous or fibrous tissues, now loosely the term tissue just refers to a grouping of cells of the same type. So here we can see the columnar epithelial cells from the previous illustration all grouped together. Now they're going to be producing mucus and protecting the airway from invading particles. And they have something on their surface called cilia and they're going to be uh, beating in unison and propelling waste upward in the trachea so that it can be swallowed and destroyed in the stomach. I'm just drawing that here now. So columnar epithelial cells in the trachea and they're going to be pushing waste products upwards through the trachea so that it can be swallowed down the esophagus into the stomach and be destroyed. Now an entire organ is made up of many different types of tissue that aid in one specific function of the human body. So here I've got a picture of the lungs and they're going to be aiding in respiration and allowing the body to take in oxygen. So the lungs are going to have epithelial cells, they're going to have uh, cartilage, so fibrous cells, they're going to have uh, antibacterial cells like macrophages, and they're all going to be uh, aiding in the processes that the lungs uh, take place. Now an organ system is when uh, several different organs work together closely. And I'm going to be doing an example of that with the heart and the cardiovascular system. So the heart's going to be pumping blood around the body, oxygenated blood that it receives from the lungs. It's going to be going to uh, the kidneys, uh, the liver, the intestines, all the different parts of the body it's going to be delivering that blood and then pumping back into the heart where that now deoxygenated blood can be returned to the lungs to be reoxygenated again. Now that's an organ system. So we've got the heart, uh, veins, arteries, and they're all going to be working together to deliver oxygenated blood around the body. Now all of these different uh, structures, tissues, organs, and other things working together makes us what we are, the human being. So an organism. So we're an organism and the particular organism that we are is the human being. Now we're made up of trillions of different cells, each surviving and performing their own specific tasks. 
And I hope this has been helpful for you guys, and thanks for watching.